Hi friends, I am Satish Rawal and I am going to teach you today an interesting topic. Topic is begin versus start. Actually, most of English learners have this confusion to use begin or to start because they mean the same. First of all, begin and start mean the same, right? They have the same meaning and we use begin and start in many cases interchangeably. But today I'll try to differentiate between these two words. Okay, have the second thing I've written here, begin is more formal. Actually, when it's question of informal and formal English, then begin is more formal in that case. The third one is begin is an irregular verb. That means begin and past form is began and then past participle is begun. Right? Begin, began, begun. Well, in case, while in case of start, we are using started and started. Past participle is started and past is started. So that's a regular verb. That is a very common thing to understand that start is a regular verb and begin is a regular verb. But now when it comes to use, how to use it and when to use it, where, whether it is begin or start, right? I have pointed a few things that will help you to understand how to use these words. Okay, first I have written here begin means to start, perform or undergo the first path of an action or activity. It's a process actually. When you talk about began or begin, actually you are talking about the process of thing. Suppose you are going to watch a movie. Actually what happens, you are thinking of the, this is the beginning of the movie, this is the end of the movie. So you are thinking about begin and end. You will never see the word start or finish in movie, right? Because it's a process. It begins and it ends. It begins and ends, okay? So uh, you are, when you are thinking about season, then also you think it began or any season has begun or summer season has begun or something like that. It's a process, it's a gradual, it's a time consuming process. It's not suddenly happening, right? So when it's a gradual process, then also you are using begin, not start. Right? The third person, that what is opposite to that word begin is to end, right? When we say begin word, we are using as an antonym end. Here, then it expresses a process of gradual or expected thing, right? Suppose if I write two sentences, if I write here, I began to fall asleep, right? Maybe I was tired and I was expecting to, when, when you go to bed actually, you are expecting to sleep, right? And you say, I began to fall asleep. If you say, I started to fall asleep, right? To fall asleep. Here, it is expressing some sort of suddenness. When you are using started language here, it shows some sort of suddenness. And we are using began to fall asleep. It's a process. It's not a magical thing that you go to bed and you fall asleep, right? It takes time, maybe 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, but it takes time to fall asleep when you go to bed, right? So this is the reason. So when you are using began language, you are talking about the process here. So here the pre preferable word, sentence, both are correct grammatically. Actually, I began to fall asleep and I started to fall asleep. But technically, I would prefer to use this one. I began to fall asleep because it's a process. It's a gradual process. It's not a sudden occurrence, right? When we are using start language, we have to, certain things we have to keep in mind. We use start to talk about machines. when machine or some mechanical things just like car or printer, computer, all the machines, right? So here sentence I have written here, press this button to start this printer. If you speak this language, press this button to begin this printer, it's going to be incorrect. So correct sentence is press this button to start the printer because printer is a machine. So when you are talking about machine, use always start word. Ignite to start the car. We start our car. We start our car. We do not, we cannot say that we begin our car, right? Okay. We can begin our journey. We can begin our journey, right? Begin our journey, right? But before we begin our journey, we start our car. So when you are starting car, you are using start car. And when you are starting your journey, you are using the language begin our journey. So because it's a process, when your journey takes a time, is a time consuming process, they are using begin, right? Second thing, we use start to, when we talk about creating a business or job, right? One sentence I've written here, 
she started a new restaurant right recently she started a new restaurant right it's doing well and she has started a new business so when you talk about business or some sort of opening of the thing you are again you are saying start right and we always whenever we use start word you have to keep in mind the antonym to that word is finish we start something to finish and we begin something to end right so i'm going to end this session of process right okay thanks for watching this video hope you enjoyed this lesson this bit confusing but try try and try and study and read more and you will understand the difference thanks for subscribing to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you